Hello, we're in Decoratum on Church Street. My name's Richard and I'm the gallery manager here. The idea really is to get unique pieces. We don't focus too much on famous designers. We focus on things that we've never seen before, things that are cool, that are trendy, that are special in some way. The more wacky, unique, individualistic, the better for us. That's essentially what we try and do. One of my favorite pieces is this yellow drinks cabinet. For me, it's wonderful because it's sort of like a little transformer. It's humanoid. It's got personality. It's made in this wonderful tropical wood called palmarfin, which is a very light hardwood. It's yellow stained and it, it's just this quirky piece. You don't see anything like it anymore today. I mean, when I look at it, I think of it, it's got a little bit of a face. It's got this funky little keyhole on top. It's got this crazy design, very linear, and yet at the same time looks, looks all sort, sort of organic and it could walk off. I mean, if I open it up for you as well, you've got this tiny little key, slightly stiff drawer, but you've just got this sea of mirrors, mirrors everywhere, so you see reflections of yourself, and it's, it's, it's a personal drinks cabinet, it's tiny, and I just think to myself, the history of it, where, where's it been, who used it, it's got this wonderful plated mirror thing. I don't know what it would have been used for. Maybe all sorts of things one could use one's imagination. So here we are in the window. We've got this new chair in by Percival Leifer, who's one of my favorite Brazilian designers. His father was a, had, he ran a um, furniture manufacturing company, essentially, which he took over. He studied architecture. And what we've got here is this beautiful green chair. I've never seen anything like it. I had a guy in yesterday or the day before who was saying it reminded him of the Flintstones because of these very primitive club-like legs that it has and it's sort of bolted together with these wooden bolts and it, I mean it looks wonderful. If you sit in it as well it's insanely comfortable. The famous pencil bench. What a wonderful piece. Yeah, Jeff got this on four rooms on Channel 4 program and loved it immediately. Essentially you've got I think 1,625 pink rubber-topped pencils that sit in this um, beautiful sort of basic, it's very, very simple wooden bench. It's an addition piece, addition of a hundred. We've sold several of them and commissioned a few more lo long ones. We've got one coming in at the end of September, which is double the length, lacquered black base and still the same pink pencils, which we think is a bit more dramatic. You've got a bit more color and a bit more, a bit more contrast. But if you sit on it, they're actually sprung and all the pencils have, have their own springiness to them. People, they come in and go, can I really sit on it? No, it's going to break. Marilyn Monroe, shining forth in all her glory by the world famous Sir Peter Blake. It's a new piece, 2010, he did it. And it is large, unashamedly iconic. <laughs> and it's an edition of 10, but each edition, e each of the 10, had a different background color. So this one's a green one, there was a silver, there's a gold, there was gray. And each one is essentially unique. I don't know, Peter Blake, I became hugely famous when he did the Beatles album cover, Sgt. Pepper, and since then he's produced a hell of a lot of work, but over the last sort of five or ten years he's, he's been concentrating on print runs. I mean, this is a staggeringly beautiful piece. We got a lot of inquiries about it. She is very special. Well, Peter Blake is 80 as well this year, so. It's signed in silver, Peter Blake 2010, MM in the bottom left. It's called MM10 because of the edition. This was the the last of the edition of 10. This is just under 20,000, it's 18,500 pounds, which is pretty good for a, you know, an artist of his stature, so to speak. I mean, he has sold, I think in 2010, he got a record sale, where it was an original artwork, sold at auction for, I think, near enough 360,000. Now, this desk's been getting a huge amount of attention. Let me just describe it to you. It's a piece of wood called Nara wood, which is a tropical hardwood from the Philippines. The wood is deforested naturally, so it's fallen old trees. It's not, they're not felled. It's essentially a desk made of one very large single piece of wood. No joinery, nothing like that. The cabinet maker, Alex Caio, based in France, he, he brings over the wood. He then ages it. Quite a lot of his pieces have... Um, a sort of silver sheen to them. He ages them in water so they get this, yeah, driftwood aesthetic essentially and then slices them up and depending on what he sees in the wood he sort of sculpts them into a functional piece of furniture. This for me is wonderful just with maybe an iPad, a very slick computer on top. There's even a hole that nature thought of where you could drop your wires into. You get people just walking into the shop quite often just to come and feel the table that's in the door and say, oh, what's this wonderful piece of wood and they just want to touch it. It is rich very warm but it's it's a sort of it's a piece of two halves one half slightly troglodytic it's got the root system and the other side 
is sliced clean and you've got a very clean line on it so it, it is beautiful we shut down a premises and we're looking for a new one so at the moment we're in slight flux in that we're looking to open up in Albemarle Street or Pimlico Road and basically have two faces in two different areas of London Jeff concentrates really on unique pieces. He's fairly compulsive. He buys things when he loves them. He sees it. He thinks, wow, I've never seen that. Or if it's got the wow factor, he'll just go and buy it. He'll happily sit on things for a long time and not, let, not show them to the public until he feels it's right. So he's, he's quite savvy like that. Can't really divulge who would come and shop here, especially celebrity-wise. I don't want to drop names. We do get celebrities. I'd love to say a few, but I shan't. <laughs>